Hey, welcome back to the channel. Uh, welcome to the Minimax build. Um, Zach got a hanger, so he is um, gone. I helped him move his plane and stuff uh, a little bit yesterday. I moved the plane this morning. Um, really happy for him. Um, he's getting uh, pretty close to the finishing stages um, of his project, which is great. So the uh, I've got the fabric cut and laid out for uh, for the top. I've got everything laid out for the top of the uh, fuselage, so we're going to um, get that on. There's a couple of, uh, uh, since you've already seen, you can see now that I did the other side of the fuselage, so both you saw me uh, video one side. The other side was exactly the same. Only difference was it didn't have the step insert to work around, which actually made it easier. So that side's done and this side's done. Um, getting ready to put the top on. So the, I went through and just double checked everything on the inside and uh, everything, everything looks good. Uh, I've got to work with my um, seatbelt cable, uh, which I'll, I'll have to make a small hole in the fabric here, uh, just behind this member. And then we'll pull that up through here and it'll have to stay on top. I'll have to tape it down somehow so that it doesn't go anywhere and fall back in. Um, but uh, all of my um, connections to my um, static system are, are all good. I um, use some silicone to put these into the blocks so that's good and uh, everything went through checked all the screws um, here these are all nice and tidy they're not going anywhere um, for my cables that are back here and uh, the um, elevator cable little captures that I made I've got those all this one I can access from this opening so no big deal there it's mostly this middle one um, here and then this one down here. They're all in good shape. Um, my other cables will be fed through um, the openings here because um, I can reach I can reach back in here after it's covered and I can get these cables up through here without any trouble. Um, so everything is uh, everything's in, in good shape. Um, I've got, uh, uh, once I finish the fabric on the top, then we'll be able to get this bolted in place. The bracket back there, that we have access to that, so that's not a problem. Um, what I'm planning is, uh, what I'm planning is to actually, where the seatbelt um, cable goes through, uh, I'll show you what I did. Um, I made a, out of a, thin piece of uh, UHMW um, I just made a little slot and then I've already got my uh, kind of doily to go over top of it um, so what I'll do is once I get this hole through here I'll feed the cable through this I will glue this in place um, right there and then once that's glued in place we'll put the uh, put the doily around it the cable will be fed through it and uh, will be, uh, uh, it'll, it'll take care of any abrasion um, that's gonna happen. Nothing will rub on the wood here and everything will just kind of ride through the middle of this, which I think is gonna be a great solution for feeding that down through there. Um, so I'm gonna get, uh, I've already got my coated, I've got everything coated, ready to attach the fabric. So I'll get the fabric on and uh, same, uh, same procedure. Um, I still have to go, and I've got to add. I've got to add some glue around here, uh, where this is going to go, and around here, because I do intend to overlap uh, this portion of the cockpit with fabric. So, so I will um, get some glue on that, and then we can uh, we can lay this fabric back and do the same procedure tack the edges um, 
and uh, get everything prepared to uh, attach and shrink and uh, and then move to the uh, move to the next step so yeah it sounds like a lot but it's uh, it's actually going really smooth and this you know this is actually this is a lot of fun um, covering um, it's, it's probably uh, I don't know the fact that it gets you a step closer to painting is uh, is really good and so what I intend to do is um, cover the fuselage cover the tail feathers cover the landing gear so that I can actually get the um, fuselage painted the gear legs painted the tail painted get it all assembled um, and then I will go back and urethane the wings and, and cover the wings and then attach the wings so that's my plan to work through this so and then when I attach the wing to the fuselage I'll be able to match my camo um, up to uh, the, where the lines are on the fuselage so I think I've got this worked out I hope so um, and I've got to make a uh, I've got to make a little back box a little aluminum uh, place for my battery here to just set I'm using a 10 amp 10 amp hour LiFePo 4 um, weighs very little it'll power my what I have to power for a long time so a lot longer than I will want to be in the air my uh, goal is to have uh, two of these so that I can always bring a, a charged one to the plane and um, and so that'll uh, that'll work out really nice so I'm gonna actually make this make this mount and I think I'm gonna bring it on this side or I'll do this side since I don't have much going on over here I may put it over on this side but I'll have a little aluminum place with a probably a velcro strap down um, over there and then that will uh, be easy to access behind the seat take with me as I need to and uh, or at least access and take in and out as I need to so that's something on the on the burner to do but right now we are covering so let me keep going on that all right all right so this is uh, measured off for where that uh, cut has to be right here um, in the middle and that's where my seat seat belt harness uh, cable come come out so now we just have to make a small cut there Just enough to get that out of there. <clears throat> All right, that's taped in place, and now uh, can continue on. All right. All right, so I've got uh, I've got all the glue done, all the way around. And I'm just waiting on this to, to um, just dry a little bit. So while I'm doing that, I'm actually going to step over here and show you um, how I'm making my little battery holder. Um, let me find the box here. So what I, what I did is I just used my battery um, 
and I created a so it's gonna have a back on it so I just traced the outline of the back and then I uh, then I, I folded it then I just turned it up but then I moved it forward a little bit so that I have about a little more than like around 3 16 of an inch extra because I'm gonna want to put a little a little foam um, on the back plate here um, just to cushion it you know and maybe a piece on the front and the back and then I have a little bit of the same um, on the side and I know when I bend this it'll actually grow a little bit so so then I'll have a, a one inch lip on the front and the sides and then a back piece that I can probably uh, rivet to maybe that uh, panel back there. I can just put some flush rivets from the inside going into the airframe and that will uh, actually, that'll allow me to um, have no interference. Uh, no, I don't want any screws or anything on the inside of the case. so. I think that might actually work out really well. It's this this thing just doesn't weigh much, so it's not going to require a whole lot. So what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to take I'm going to take this pattern and I'm going to just cut it out and put it on um, this fifty thousandths um, aluminum, and then I'll take it to the bandsaw and cut it. Uh, cut it out. I'll drill the, I'll drill holes in the corners here um, before I cut it out. Then that'll give me nice, uh, nice break. Uh, well, it'll, it'll prevent cracking in those corner areas. So, uh, yeah, this should be really, really simple. Um, and then what I'll do is um, when I uh, attach it, I'm gonna put a Velcro strap around it so that I'll actually be able to uh, just velcro it in and hold it with a couple of a uh, couple of velcro straps and that'll uh, that'll work out like really slick so um, easy to get out um, easy to work on easy access uh, yeah so I'm gonna cut this out right now and I'm gonna um, transfer it to the aluminum and then uh, I, by the time I get that done, my glue should be dry and then I can continue uh, over there. So, all right. Uh, all right, so I've got my piece uh, all cut out. Um, you can see where I drilled the holes in the corners. Um, now all I have to do is uh, bend it up and, uh, and then it'll, I'll clean up all the edges uh, first with a file and then I'll bend it up. And then this will, uh, this will be my little battery. Um, holder so I was uh, headed down a different road but this is going to be much lighter much better so um, yeah uh, yeah so now my fabrics ready and so I'm gonna go ahead and I've just got some uh, a few bubbles here to iron down along this edge and then I can jump to the next step so it's good news all right all right so I'm ready to start uh, start shrinking the fabric now um, all my edges are good, um, so uh, we'll just uh, we'll just get this going, kind of in the middle here. All right, then we have a couple of other areas. We've got uh, we've got this area here, um, and I got to make sure this doesn't sneak back down inside. So I'll tape that back down. But I've got this mount that uh, is for the headrest right here. So we want to glue that down.
And then I'm gonna wipe that one off. This, uh, we've got this little area. This is that uh, cross piece that I believe it was, uh, maybe it was Hogs and Plains said, make sure you put this in. So I've got something to attach the fabric to. And then I've just got one more area at the front. Um, I don't have to uh, do this yet, but I'll go ahead and do it um, while I'm here. I'm just going to go ahead and fill the uh, fill the weave on this part right here. Um, I do have a, a tape. The reason I'm doing the whole thing is because I've got a a, a tape that I want to put on a finishing tape just over this uh, corner right here. Anyway, this is an example of uh, how, how we'll end up doing um, all of these open plywood areas. Uh, not, not like open, but I mean this whole plywood area right here will get the same treatment um, as this is getting right now. So fabric will, it just attaches down through the, uh, down through the weave, so. All right, so that's all uh, that's all drying um, up here, and I did the uh, holes and stuff I had for the instrument panel up there. Um, this is looking really good back here. I went, I had to do since this gets cut out right up to the edge. Uh, I had to go ahead and glue that as well. I'll have to come back with the iron and make sure it's attached really well because it. Uh, it uh, there were just some kind of gaps in it, but once I hit it with the iron it'll be uh it'll be glued in place nicely so while that's finishing up drying i've jumped back to the uh, uh battery box thing and all i've done is i've just marked the four holes where i'm gonna where i'm gonna uh flush ribbit this to the to the what is the back wall over here um that vertical member that's right here and then i'll probably have to make just a little wooden wedge or something to slip underneath it to give it a little support on the bottom because that obviously this is sloped back so when you attach the this piece there's a gap on the bottom that's a triangle so I'll make something to go in there um, just to support it at, at a minimum just the front corners um, it'll be easy to just slip some some epoxy something in there uh, I could have made maybe some legs or something on this but I don't want this to be complicated. I want this to be really simple and easy. So, uh, yeah. So I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna punch these holes. Uh, I'll use my center punch on those four holes. Three thirty seconds is for that flush rivet um, that we're gonna use. Uh, a lot. Those guys are in here. So right there, and they will get a. Uh, uh, I don't think I have uh, washers for the backside. 
I'm going to have to look and see if I have those. I may, I might have those small washers that go on. I think I do, actually, <laughs> that go on the backside. Um, so, okay. I'm going to do this while that's finishing up drying, and, uh, and then we'll jump back over there. All right. All right, so I've got my... Uh, Got my pieces. Got my piece in the brake here, so I'm just using the uh, just using the brake to get uh, to get this uh, get all these bends started. So um, so I got I got to grab the other handle. I'm trying to do this with uh, two hands. <laughs> I'm trying to do a two-handed job with one hand here. It's not working out very well. Um, let's just get this lined up again. Right there, and we'll just give that one a bend. All right. All right, now we can bend the sides here. All right, so there's my tray. Um, and I will say um, a huge advantage to being at the uh, EAA chapter here and belonging to a chapter like this is you have this just amazing machine shop. Um, and I'm not saying all chapters are like this, but I don't have one of these at home. So, <laughs> and this, you saw how easy that was. Um, it, it was really easy, so. All right, back to the plane. And it wouldn't be right if we didn't test fit the battery. So um, you can see I've left room for a little bit of a uh, foam cushion um, all the way around. So I'll get some uh, adhesive backed felt. It's kind of, it's not felt, it's like a, it's like a foam material, um, about an eighth of an inch thick all the way around and that'll provide a nice uh, including the bottom that'll give a really nice cushion for the battery and I think what we'll do is we'll figure out a, a way to run a velcro strap um, from the uh, maybe the inside and underneath and come around um, yeah figure that out we'll 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 find a way to lock her down in here without any trouble maybe we can go side to side that might be easier actually to go from here over the top and down to here because then we can attach the velcro um, right to the side here so all right that worked out great so okay um, Zach, if you're watching, um, thanks for the tip and the encouragement to go that route. All right.
All right, so now we take the uh, scissors here. <clears throat> We're going to take the scissors, and what I want to do is I want to come on a straight line from my. Uh, From this corner right here, I just want to come straight to, straight back. I'm just going to make myself a couple reference lines here so I can see what that looks like. We'll end up filling in the other corner with a little piece of fabric. Um, but we can at least get this one straight to start with. And then back here we'll do the we'll do the same. Um, actually, the back is going to get trimmed straight to this line because um, we're going to just trim this part uh, flush with the top edge. But this one. Get these with thinking shears, so I'm going to go out. Okay, and then I can come back in the other side. All right, so now I've got that um, glued in place. I'm gonna, I was just trying to get rid of a little bit of the excess, uh, excess glue here. It looks like maybe it wasn't really time to do that, but I'll just get it off and then I'll reposition it here. All right, that looks good, so. Now we'll just let that dry, um, and then we'll uh, we'll put our piece over the top, and then we'll uh, and then we'll put our uh, I'll make a piece to go over this, and I can probably make that out of a uh, finishing tape and just round off the edges. I think that's what I'll do for that, and then eventually um, I'll get the uh, uh, I'll get the headrest up here. And I want to make an outline of it because I want to put I want to put a piece of finishing tape underneath where it's going to sit because this is a this if this flexes much it'll it'll be hitting the bottom of the uh, the bottom of the headrest so I just want to add some support there. Um, let's see, I think uh, probably it's not necessary to. Um, Probably reinforce this because nothing is really coming in contact with it. The uh, instrument panel is an eighth of an inch above all of this. So, uh, but I do want to put uh, finishing tape underneath where my uh, canopy goes um, for the same reason because it's making contact. Um, I'll come through here and put a piece of finishing tape on here and down the other side. 
and then we'll put a uh, we'll put a cross piece across this corner um, and once we get um, this cross piece the cockpit area um, this piece here and the doily there this will just get cut out um, but this corner here we'll get a piece of finishing tape um, and then we'll get uh, it gets a piece across the back here and so basically when you're doing your tapes we'll do all of them across the fuselage that are going across the fuselage first and then we come back and we pick up the ones that are going all the way down the laundrons so uh, once we get everything else in place then then once the tapes are on then we can finish sealing um, sealing the fabric here and just this section here where there's plywood um, we'll attach it here as well and uh, we'll have our finishing tapes on here already so yeah all right this is uh it's um uh it's pretty exciting so yeah and i'm so happy with this uh this box right here it's gonna be great and i can show you now this is actually gonna go um it's gonna go right there um maybe has to come up i just have to miss the Excuse me, I have to miss the uh, the wooden piece on the bottom, so maybe I'll have to come up a little bit off of the floor um, back here. But then, like I said, I'm going to put something under this leading edge to provide a little bit of a additional support. So probably just a, a strip of wood or something right there. And the good thing about Velcroing it... Uh, side to side is we can actually go underneath it and come all the way across the top so I think that's what we'll do it'll be perfect and yeah all right so um, I'm gonna finish ironing these down uh, this will be working on drying and uh, I think that's gonna be it for me tonight and I look forward to uh, I look forward to the next uh, time I can build which I believe will be Saturday today is Thursday and we will be getting some uh, finishing tapes in place, which is really good. Um, means we're, we're really moving right along on this. So, uh, all right. So thanks for hanging out with me tonight. And um, I will catch you later.